good morning, good afternoon, and or good night whenever you're finding the time to join me in this video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to Fran Plans. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Here on my channel, of course, I love to talk about anything that has to do with planning, organization, um, just some life hacks uh, and getting your life together. But it has been really, um, I've really been into budgeting and financial planning lately. So um, today I'm going to, of course, be filling and showing you guys what I'm doing with my cash envelopes. Not much has changed, but I'm just going to go over and explain what is happening this week um, and tell you guys what's going on with cash envelopes. So uh, here in the video, as you can tell, I have my planner, but I'm not really going to be doing anything with this today. Um, it's going to be more about the... Um, cash envelopes. So if you guys don't know, my husband and I, we have been really good about taking cash out and using that versus using our debit cards. Does it mean that we don't use debit cards? No, it just means that we try to pay for a majority of our things with cash. Uh, we do not use credit cards at all. I'm not knocking people who do use credit cards. We have just chosen not to because we like to use cash. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, so I just want to get into what's going on this week with these babies. Um, I did make my own cash envelopes. I've been selling them in my Etsy shop, which I will definitely link below. I don't have many stocked in there. I will have to restock them, but I think I have like two or three sets left. Um, so if you've purchased from me, thank you. I do appreciate the support. Um, but what I did was I made these. I do have a Cricut. Uh, someone did ask me where did I get the paper from. Um, I got this basically just from a regular um, paper pad. Sorry about that. I had to get some water. Um, so yes, I uh, used to live in Michael's. I try not to now. Um, Michael's the craft store, and I have tons of the cardstock paper. So I basically just used that, and this was from the they had a Paris theme paper pad and so then I just I just literally cut out some uh, this was the back of the cardstock that I didn't use so like the white side of it and I just cut that out and wrote on there so I mean it's just some makeshift envelopes um, the ones in the shop look a little bit better than this but um, these are the ones that I've been using for quite some time so let's just go ahead and get right into this guys um, generally what I do is on payday I take out $250 in cash and I kind of div uh, divide that up into different um, categories that I know I tend to spend more in than I probably should um, if I'm using my debit card. So I hope that makes sense. So um, I don't use, we don't use cash envelopes for everything, but we do use them for things that we tend to um, overspend on. Like groceries was a thing that we definitely were overspending on. Um, household products like I just would buy tons of stuff for the house and it's like why am I buying so much stuff for the house we don't need this stuff for the house so basically I just kind of limited myself down to a few categories to try to keep myself in line and my husband as well um, with not overspending so um, I'll get into how I have them labeled and I posted tons of these videos before but I just kind of want to do a more thorough in-depth um, reasoning behind the cash envelopes so um, in this video. So my miscellaneous envelope, which I really don't use anymore. I was using it for coupons, but I've basically been keeping coupons on my phone. Uh, so I don't really use this one that much anymore, but I do still keep it. So that's what that one was about. Um, the entertainment one is entertainment or fun money or blow money, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't have anything in this envelope this week and I'm not going to put anything in here because we are um, doing a trip next weekend. And so I'm kind of putting all of my fun money to that as far as, you know, souvenirs and stuff. So I'm not putting anything in here because um, we're budgeting that for the, that's in the trip, the trip budget. So nothing in the entertainment. This is strictly just um, stuff we absolutely need for the week. Um, so that is just, nothing's going in there. So for groceries, um, and I took out $250 in cash. So that is what I am, um, budgeting with this week. So for groceries, I budgeted 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 25, 30. So $130. Now this is just the two of us. It's just my husband and I, uh, we do have a cat, um, and she has her own envelope. I kind of, I keep her stuff separate. Um, but this is 130 for two people for groceries. And mind you, we're going to be gone for a week. So we probably will have more money left in here for the following um, grocery haul or whatever um, because we need to kind of clean out the refrigerator and not leave a lot of food in there so 130 should be more than enough and hopefully we will I'm thinking we will have more money left over in this envelope when it's all said and done 
uh, self-care nail eyebrows. This is my, this is kind of like my fun money. I always get my nails done. I try to keep those up. So that is my money that goes in there, $40. That includes my tip. Um, and this is Sasha, our cat. She has 10, 11, 12, 13. It's an odd number because I had $3 left over in my wallet and I just figured I would throw this in here for her. I do need to get her some food before we leave so my mom can definitely, when she checks on her, um, she will have enough food. Um, so household goods. And when I say household products, that's what I have this labeled as. Um, I mean like for us, because we have tons of, oh my God, like soap and all that good stuff. So this is basically toilet paper, paper towels. That's what I'm gonna do with this money. Um, we try to go to Costco to stock up on things. And so we're still kind of good, but because we're gonna be gone for that week, I don't wanna have to worry about it when we get back. Um, so that's what that is for. And then gas money. I do work from home, so I don't have a commute. Um, and I have a little Nissan Sentra, so it's not a gas guzzler. So 30 to 40 bucks does get me by, but mind you, we're gonna be gone. So I still have a little less than a half a tank, so I'll probably have money left over in here too. Um, someone asked me, um, what do I do for a living that I get to work from home? <laughs> so um, I'm very blessed. I'm actually a registered nurse and I actually get to work from home. I do what's called case management and disease management. Um, and utilization review. Um, I do a lot of cor like more corporate nursing and case management nursing than anything, um, but I do get to work from home, so I'm really blessed. About, I'm really thankful and blessed. Um, but these are the cash envelopes. This is what I have set up for the week. Um, 215 cash, and that's how it will be spent. Thank you guys so much for joining in this video. If you have questions, please leave them below. I always try to respond to you guys, um, and I love commenting with you guys. So thank you guys so much. Have a great day.